Nokia are well known for bringing out phones of out of the box designs, shall we say, particularly many of the fashion and experimental series. The Art Deco inspired series certainly doesn't disappoint in that respect. Inspired by the glamour and elegance of the lavish 1920s, Nokia introduced three Art Deco inspired mobile phones in 2004 at the Totally Fashion event in Shanghai. The line consisted of the 7260, 7270, and the so-called Lipstick 7280. Let's look at the history of this art movement. Art Deco, short for Art Decorative, can be traced back to an art exhibition in Paris 1925, organised by the Society of Decorative Artists. The styling of Art Deco is founded on mathematical geometric shapes, which drew from ancient architecture of Egyptian and Aztec times, like ziggurats and pyramids, along with more machine-age stylized images of aeroplanes, cars, cruise liners and skyscrapers, reflecting the movement's eagerness to adopt new technologies. In particular, Art Deco designs are characterised by trapezoidal, zigzagged and triangular shapes, chevron patterns, step forms and sweeping curves. New materials of the time were much in evidence, metals such as aluminium, stainless steel and chrome, plastics, lacquer, bakelite and inlaid wood. In the 20s and 30s, Art Deco was mostly confined to the upper and middle classes who could afford this new design and show off their sophistication and style. Think of speakeasy bars, flapper dancers, the great Gatsby. The Nokia adverts here, directed by the fashion photographer David Lapachelle, sound production by Songzu, and Zap Me Lovely by Trick Baby, can be seen to have this Art Deco styling and seem to emphasise this lavish, futuristic lifestyle. Notice the futuristic bar, speakeasy mask references, the train and ocean liner references, and that central circle exactly like the central navy spinner of the 7280. Maybe the snow globes have some Art Deco history too. So the adverts are well made, not particularly random, there is a theme, a story, a point. Perhaps then, the same for the phones. Let's take a look. The rather special Nokia 7280, or lipstick phone was designed by Tej Chow Han. I was always the one who's getting the crazy projects to work on, like this one here, which is, an, the, they call it the lipstick phone. The original concept was a small second phone, which could be worn like a brooch, for example, when going out, and all it could be used for was making calls. Let's look at it in more detail. The phone itself, its key fashion features, notice the small form factor, the trademark navi spinner replacing a traditional keypad, the screen which acts as a mirror when the phone is in idle mode, the brand tag, just like designer clothes would have to show off. And the Art Deco influences, the lacquer inspired high gloss finish, the white curved geometric lines identifying key phone features such as the mic and the navi spinner, the chamois leather mic and speaker, the chrome and curved sim card holder, even the menu structure has an Art Deco feel. The phone was sold with a stylized plastic container, its own style charger, SIM card release, earphones, velvet and leather case, wrist holder and the obligatory Nokia suite software. Key features included 2G's Edge high speed data with which you could view early web functionality in the form of WAP. Other communications options included Bluetooth and infrared. Media options included a VGA camera, FM radio and speakerphone. So in summary the Nokia 7280 is not mad. It's a magical piece of modern tech of the time that beautifully embodies all that is the Art Deco style. As such, in my opinion, it was, is, and will forever be a very, very cool phone.